It's cold, cold. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. <laughs> well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. <laughs> Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Fuck me. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. Yeah, I, I feel like we should have seen her, like, way earlier. We owe it to her. Thought somebody texted us already. Wow, it's really, really cold here. Here, sometimes we get that sort of ice going on, but if you try to skate on it... Like, there may be one, like, one or two days when that's possible here. Yasmin sounded like she really wanted to talk. And then it would probably crack. Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. <sighs> Graffiti Rock looks so... naked. Not a time for festivities, after all. Whoa! Very Hellraiser. I wonder what's inside. Reggie's a bit rough around the edges, but... He's a good kid. Reminds me of a few old friends. Pick it up. Shit's all yours if you want it. <laughs> Just skip my workshop. Did you even have a workshop? Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean... I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> kind of seems like the whole campus is. Grief affects everyone differently, and if it's a small campus, the effects are definitely felt. It's a kind of campus where everyone knows everyone else. That kind of small campus. I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. Yeah, you saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough, but it was honest. <laughs> You're a natural, whether you like it or not. You think so? Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. Art seems like such a subjective thing that I don't even know if there are some more objective outlines where you could look at a photo and be like, this is good, this is bad. Even if something is out of focus, I feel like you could argue, hey, this is my artistic... I want to do that because of an artistic thing. So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key Abraxas virtue. The eye for detail. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. You want to give it a shot? You know, when they had the Vortex Club in high school, it's like, okay, whatever. It's like literally teenagers being dumb. When you have the Abraxas Society for undergrad age kids and up, it just seems really stupid. I don't know, maybe because I was never in like a um, sorority or like, a, you know, those frats. I don't know what they're like. What's this crap? An eye for detail, huh? This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The Founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. 
Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Anything else we can investigate, or should we go look at the Founders? Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that... wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Let's burn this crap. Serve. Just destroy the box. No shit. <laughs> All right. We'll put the bird on. And? A second test. Of course. Oh, hell no. It, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really? Good riddance. <laughs> you quitting that crap then? All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. <laughs> this Abraxas society sounds lame. Like, super lame. Reggie's a bit rough around the edges, but he's a good kid. Reminds me of a few old friends. Can I do something about that box that we just picked up? Maybe not for the moment. Just gonna go around here. I wish we could put some patches on my messenger bag like before. I don't think that's a thing though. I shouldn't keep Yasmin waiting too long. This piece must weigh a ton. But it's barely touching the ground. Uh, something physics. Something something. Oh, look at that one over there. That cube. That's even crazier. This will help me get my bearings a little bit. Not if I can't read it. It's so small. It's so small. You are here. Wait, this is a brochure, isn't it? Oh, no, no. Okay, hold on. This will help me get my bearings a little bit. Admin building. It's right through, past the FAB. Snapping turtle this way, north quad. Have a look. Oh. This kind of art isn't really my thing. Unless it's the subject of a photo. Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? I feel like they advertise this as something that you can play without having played the first one, but there's so many things that... If you don't have the context for it, I... I just don't think it's really that standalone. It's okay to not be okay. A death on campus can be upsetting, scary, and isolating. Caledon University has counselors on campus to help. If you're struggling with this or anything else, please reach out. Oh, someone behind there. Nope. We should talk to Moses too. Both of us should be going to Yasmin at the same time. These damn things are all over campus. Except where Safi actually needed one. But the gunshot is so immediate, you wouldn't be able to stop it anyway. Safi's murder Aww. brought the whole campus to a standstill. It touched everybody. Join us on December 16 at 7 p.m. in Turner in the Turner Chapel to honor and remember a cherished member of our community. There's no school right now. People are just sort of chilling around. Wait, where's Loretta? You know what I think about? A little bit more about what's going on. Wait. Here. Sorry, I'm not at liberty to discuss any facts of the case. Of course, I totally understand. 
Is there anything that you can tell us? A graduate student was found dead on campus. The circumstances of her death require further investigation. That's really all I can say. Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? Have you been on the force long? About five years. Is this the first college campus you've had to babysit? I see what you're doing. You know, you might not make a half bad cop yourself one day. I have other plans. That's Loretta something. Seen her in a few of my workshops. Journalism major, I think. Doesn't look like she's getting the scoop she wanted. They won't tell her anything, and they shouldn't, I suppose. Can we go to the Fine Arts Building? I Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? It looks like we can go there. Oh. She's gone. This feels so surreal. Finals postponed. Please log on into your student portal for more info. Just when you thought the online tests were behind us. Tests. We'll always have tests. Thomas Caledon. A bird on each shoulder. Wonder which one's the devil. The thing is, Thomas, pondering what might be will drive you insane. A school that teaches art without science, or indeed science without art, can only deal in half-truths. In the same way one cannot understand the darkness without first having been dazzled by the light, one cannot access the intricacies of what is without first pondering what might be. Thomas Caledon Jr., 1901-1984 I remember the original working title for Life is Strange. The first one was What If. It's a fitting name, but it's really hard to imagine the series without being named Life is Strange now. Even though it's kind of a weird name if you think about it. Were you left here on purpose? Unfold me? I might not be able to fold it back. Doesn't matter. I, I, this is hard to do on the mouse. I don't know which way they want me to move. Where is this going? Some will not be understood. Oh, it said something, but probably just fold it. Unfold it. I see. It's a haiku. I wonder who made this. Some will not be understood. All are. All things are fleeting. Some will not be understood until they are gone. Hmm. Is it just me or is like the background music kind of... I don't know, it's kind of weird. Very spooky. Maya Okada. I wonder who she was. Maybe they'll plant a tree for Safi too. Cherry Blossom Tree. Also known as a Japanese cherry or sakura tree, cherry blossom trees do not yield cherries for eating, but instead produce beautiful pink flowers. They typically bloom from March to April in the Northern Hemisphere. The cherry blossom is a national flower of Japan. What about the chrysanthemum? Isn't that the national flower? Planted in memory of Maya Okada. Maybe. David. Hang in there, David. <sighs> Not that David. People are just chilling out here. Oh, there was a map here as well. Blocked off. Okay, so there was still another place around on this side we didn't look at yet. If we go to the very back 
over across the bridge. Oh. So, how'd you two meet? The dating apps? The produce aisle? <laughs> Art school things, lots of bizarre things around here. Maybe I shouldn't say bizarre, just- Yasmin sounded like she really wanted to talk. Legend says that if you give Facebox Man a little smooch, he gets seven years of good luck. Do you want to do it? Yeah, this side. This area is big enough that I feel like we're gonna come back. Maybe it's like a hubbish area, but I don't want to chance it. Hello, Mr. Counselor. Eh. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we- No turtle for me. It'll look bad if Yasmin finds out I'm putting her off. Oh, so maybe they won't let me go to the fab either. Or not. Oh, you gotta go through the fab. To go to the admin building. I'll head over to admin to see Yasmin soon. New crosstalk. <laughs> it's really nice to have something small to laugh at, actually. King Arthur to the Knights of the Round Table. Men, we ride at dawn. Knights. Rawr! King Arthur opens his eyes in bed. The sun is out. Okay, well, we ride at 10.30 then. King Arthur leisurely peruses the castle breakfast bar. I know what I said, Brian. We ride when we ride. La la la. Historically accurate, I'm sure. <laughs> wow, she does comedy. Like, internet comedy. Not just stand-up comedy. What's this side? Oh, the admin building. Yeah. Fine arts. I should go to the admin building before Yasmin thinks I'm avoiding her. Yeah, but I'm gonna look around a little bit first. It's a shame. I was so looking forward to being terrorized by Saint Nick's shriveled mutant sidekick. Faculty holiday party. The Snapping Turtle and Caledon University present Krampus on Campus. Cancelled. Join us for libations and board games. Krampus roast with guest of honor Lucas Palmonero. Have you been naughty or nice? Do we really care if some random party is cancelled? Sensual. I can't be late to see as me. I can't be late to see as mean if I never gave her a time. Don't be rude. We should go. We owe it to her. I'll bet they've got quite an eye for photography. Three of them, even. Amazing. Like most places, Lakeport is a lot more complicated than it appears. We are hereby acknowledging ourselves the lawful subjects of our Sovereign Lady Queen Anne and promising our hearty subjection and obedience unto the crown of Great Britain. Sarah Baird, enrolled member of the Nolhagen Band of the Kusuk Abenaki Nation, a treaty for a new age. Indigenous peoples. Okay, this one's too much for us to fix. No. Despite that art prankster at large, I think this one is actually right side up. <laughs> yeah, we can't move this one. This school is pretty rich. They just have these random... Not random, but they have a whole building like a museum here. Alright. Clearly I'm not the only artist on this campus with Amanda on the brain. What do you call the style? It's, well, it's not exactly flattering. But it's on purpose. May we all one day aspire to be as happy as a burgeoning wow. goth kid with his first skull balloon. Don't you think they should have told us something by now? About the murder? Whoa. Who said anything about murder? The email said there was a death. I heard she was strangled. Scratch marks on her neck and everything. Wait, really? I mean, that's what I heard. 
So, scratch marks? You mean, like, from talons? Big, scary talons? Come on, I never said that. Like Mothman? You and your cryptids. Well, I'm not hearing any better explanations. We can't blame people who weren't close to Safi talking about this. If a cryptid killed her, would it even be considered a murder? Doesn't murder require premeditation? Cryptids can premeditate. Statistically, people are murdered by someone they know. Like a boyfriend or a sibling or something like that. Oh my god, dude, do not. <laughs> do you think this chick was dating Bigfoot? You're being so disrespectful. You're the one spitballing that she might have been strangled to death by the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil doesn't strangle people. No, you're right. He's from Jersey. He'd use a gun. You can't blame them. They're just too far removed from the situation. Do you think they'd tell me if I made an inquiry? Why would they? You're not her friend or her family member. You're just a silly little boy who loves the Loch Ness Monster. Jerk. Would you like me better if I was part moth? Like if I had a moth for a head? It might be an improvement, yeah. <laughs> Safi just happened to be part of their conversations, that's it. Wow, this place is... fancy. Come on, Max. Go talk to Yasmin. The Sky Cat attacks. It's like Van Gogh's Starry Night, but cat version. Coffee. For when you lose your will to live. I'll have coffee. Hey, uh, black coffee? Sure thing. Just pure black? I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. What? I haven't stayed in one place this long since... Well, it's been a while. I almost forgot what belonging feels like. And now, this. Now, Sophie. I should have known better than to hope things would be different. Sometimes, it feels like I'm cursed. Like, no matter how fast and far I run, the past is still gonna find me. You just got unlucky, as far as we know. Oh, hey, that's ours. As far as we know, this is nothing related to you. For now. Well, I get the impression that'll change, but... Chill out, okay, girl? Oh, boy, I bet that's copyrighted. I'm sorry, let's get going soon. Shouldn't we be talking to Moses a bit too? Not sure I'd leave my stuff lying around like this. Oh, people would thieve it! You're way too trusting! Oh, Loretta must have left this to finish uploading. Damn! Girl's got a lot of fans. Oh, she was the podcast girl. Episode 223, Martian Falls, Killer Conviction Overturned. 219, The Ravine Was Right There, The Suitcase Episode. 210, 220. Soggy clothes and breeze blocks. 221 bonus. The Holland Park murders a year later. 222 Sophia Brown murder victim or runaway. It's like true crime. Where's my stuff? Order up photo. Took oh, it's this mine. Right after I left Arcadia Bay. I think that's the most alone I've ever felt. Max Caulfield, 1995. 1995. If this is set in 2024, then she would be 29. Right? My god, Max is almost 30. Safi told me to look at this whenever I feel like an imposter. To remind me that I've earned this. I'll do it, Safi. I promise. Max Caulfield. Walking with ghosts. After receiving her first camera at the age of 6, a Contax T2, Maxine Caulfield has sought to capture a life that evades explanation. From the recent green hell of the recession-era Pacific Northwest to the ancient industrial wastelands of the Rust Belt, she has restored meaning to empty places, illuminating the plights of everyday people living on the brink of change. 
a winner of the IPA Award and a National Geographic Fellowship, she is currently Caledon University's Hannah Hellerton Artist in Residence. Hellerton, so that's who Hellerton is. Diptych 11 photo? Ugh, I can't even look at this right now. My old stuff is just cringe. Oh no, no. Cringe just means you're improving. You're improve you're better today than you were yesterday. Interesting attachment though. She's like putting the the car, connecting it to the tree. Huh. Jonah photo. Oh, this is mine as well. I got three here. Got a whole corner to myself. What's that saying? If you're going through hell, keep going. We got a whale and then like a amusement park right in the middle. Jonah. You're too artsy for me, Max. Okay, I get the impression maybe we want to head to Yasmin soon. <laughs> Wow. Thanks for nothing, Caledon Campus Security. Too little, too late. Campus Security Alert in compliance with federal disclosure policies. Caledon University is giving notice of a violent crime that was committed on campus on December 4 at 11 p.m. on the Everett Observatory Overlook Trail. A female graduate student was found dead, the victim of a gunshot wound. Wait, so they said it then? They said it's a murder? The people talking earlier were saying it's just a death, not a murder. To reduce your chances of being a victim of crime, be aware of your surroundings, move in groups, take care of each other, cardinals. And I thought Amanda couldn't get any cuter. It's back. Second annual Champlain Comedy Festival. It's in April. Featuring Jaden J, Amanda Thomas, Lil Yu Singing Hawk, Hot T Tompkins, and more to be announced. Amanda Thomas. If I can break into a bowling alley, I'm sure these chuckle fucks can bypass a dorm lock. Attention Caledon students, there have been reports about a number of break-ins happening across Lakeport. Please be vigilant. Remember to always lock your doors and windows before leaving your dorms. You have information, blah 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 blah. Oh. Is that a... penguin head in the spokes? Where are you seeing a penguin head? Huh. I think this is it. We can connect back this way. Come on, Max. No? Go talk to Yasmin. Wait, we saw a way to the admin building earlier. <laughs> Where was it? On this side. Not this side. This side. No, this is leaving. I am so turned around. It's this one. Okay. Yasmin's office is down the hall. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Main feed. I'm currently writing something and it comes from a personal place, but it also terrifies me. Is it even worth finishing? Hell yes. Shut up, I already know your opinion. Anything about me should be published. Once again, the poem's not about you. It includes you, but it's not about you. Sure. Take a chance. Professor Colmanero is always saying you're going in the right direction if it takes you to unexpected places. Dude, fuck that guy. <laughs> Not if it risks your grades. It's personal to me. That's more important. You say that now. Yeah, just kids. The kids using their social media here. It's probably worth finishing, though. Although I don't know if it's good for a um, school project. Sounds like some self-reflective thing.
nothing in this room. Oh. Thanks for nothing, Caledon Campus. Wow. Is this a student literary mag or a Lucas Colmanero fanzine? Call for submissions. Plumage. Caledon University Arts and Literary Magazine. Editor Colmanero. Professor and Department Chair Literature. So he would know about Safi then. He, he is the head of the department that Safi was in because she was doing poetry, which is lit. Accepting all fiction, nonfiction, poetry, and art through January 1st. Open to all students, regardless of major. What is the purpose of a voice if it stays forever silent? Lucas Comanero. Okay, we haven't really been talking about this all this time. We've been focusing on Max processing her grief, but is there an element of us wanting to find out who the killer is? Maybe not right now, because we don't have any powers. So black roses, huh? Must have been a pretty penny in the middle of Vermont winter. I guess Abraxas has some extra cash to throw around, with Krampus cancelled. Obviously I get why, but I'm still bummed we're not doing Krampus on campus this year. It sounded like fun. You're only a freshman. I promise there will be more Krampi in your future. Assuming you stay on Vince Goodside. <laughs> Vin loves me. Uh, Vin loves me, right? It's cancelled because of Safi, right? Because Max earlier was like, oh, I'm sad it's cancelled, but... Yeah, that's kind of weird. The one thing all visual art has in common. Light. We playing today? Nah, DM cancelled. That girl that died was his TA, so they gave him the day off. He's going camping. Man, I wanna go camping. Wow. Sucks about his TA, though. Yeah. People just talk about it like it's not a person. Maya Okada. Her name was on the plaque for that tree outside. I wonder who she was. Away from home, stories, Maya Okada, includes English lessons, I did come all this way to turn back now. A writer. I hate to ask, but any word on the proposal you sent Dr. Fayad? If only. And for obvious reasons, now I don't think there will be. Speaking just for me, four-day work weeks, no classes on Fridays? It's a slam dunk, Rati. Maybe resubmit in the spring? I don't know. Dr. Fayed likes to come across as progressive, but she still has to answer to a far more conservative board. Still, I don't need to tell you how much having more time with your family would mean, right? I never did make it to any of Ramalan's soccer games this year, and he and his father are definitely holding it against me. Maybe include that when you submit again. My son hates me is 100% a valid argument in your favor. Everyone, students, faculty, staff, would benefit from a shortened work week. I mean, your grief group meets on Fridays, doesn't it? Yeah, I... Wow, I'm surprised you remember that. It's important. People talk a big game about work-life balance, but I don't think they know what that actually means. Yeah, what work-life balance actually means is that when you're at work, you're not living. Fuck. I have to admit, this is a bigger outpouring for Safi than I expected. The student died when I was at Yale, and the response was half this. Real subtle way to mention Yale. Hey, name dropping is pretty much the main perk of teaching at an Ivy. It might be the only one. <laughs> Though, I doubt that student could write like Safi as a freshman. <sighs> nope. Nor were they the university president's kid. In one way or another, we're gonna be feeling Safi's death for weeks. She was talented. She was gonna get a publishing deal for her poetry. She was the president's daughter, university president's daughter. And now she's gone. The four-day work week, though, you want to get paid the same amount. That's the issue, right? Like, that's really hard for a conservative board to stomach. If you took a pay cut, maybe they would consider it, which might defeat the point of it. Nothing makes you feel alone like a chair made for two. 
Wow. Conversation chair. These are all by current or former faculty? Now I feel like a slacker. What? They have a... It was collected over a lot of time. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. Telescope. Maybe Moses can tell me more about this. No. What did he do this time? I don't know where that guy is. You know, Gretch, it's okay to be sad. You don't have to be so stone-faced all the time. Never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow. Gretchen Kostov, class of 1964. Member of Caledon University's first co-ed class, Gretchen pioneered the Caledon Women's Equality League, the Caledon Caller, and other initiatives that continue making Caledon a great place for students to this day. Hmm. Guess everyone's too literary for YA these days. Cowards. It's a time and place for everything. If YA gets people reading, that's a good start. <laughs> Not everyone has to read freaking Shakespeare or whatever. And this is the other door. That goes back outside. Let me just check. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. Meeting. Okay. Yasmin's office is down the hall. Oh, is Yasmin the first female president? Way to be a combo breaker. Yeah. Wow, impressive. I should probably write something, even if I can't find the right words. A goodbye message. We won't cry because you're gone. We'll smile because you lived. Your life was a blessing and your memory a treasure. Your work will touch lives for decades to come. Gone but not forgotten. El Colmenero. S, I'm so fucking sorry for everything. I'll try to do better from now on. Why is it always the good ones? This place won't be the same without you. You were greatly loved and deeply missed. We love you, Safi. Those who touch our lives stay in our hearts forever. Safi, you have so many hearts to live on in. You are loved beyond words and missed beyond measure. I never got Langston Hughes until you gave your lecture on him. I haven't looked at the wary blues the same way since. Thank you for that, AS. Safi, if only I had a time machine. Maybe I could tell you everything I want to. Until then, get some rest. I know wherever you are, you're giving them an earful for taking you away from us. In loving memory of Sophia Llewellyn Fayad. We didn't have long together, but in that short time you changed me. As an artist, and as a person. Thank you for the friendship and the memories. Love, Max. Who is this for, anyway? What I want to say is between me and Safi. Good point. Good point. It didn't even update with me and- oh, there's Max's. Close for holiday. Yasmin keeps her own cover issue in her office waiting room. A real girl boss move. Caledon University's new president storms the ivory tower. The disruptor. Even waiting for Yasmin is a luxury experience. 
feels like I'm seeing the actual president. Really giving me expensive car dealership vibes. I can't imagine what I could do to make you feel better, Yasmin. But I'll do my best. Vin. Vin Lang, admin assistant. Vin Lang. Total mystery. What kind of title is administrative assistant, anyway? Secretary. Howdy, Vin. Howdy. <laughs> Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. <sighs> I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? It's not related to work. <laughs> you think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. What's Kahuna? Oh. Listen. I'm I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but she was an amazing person, and we're all going to miss her. Probably a little bit, I guess. Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package dying. waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me! Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. I would be a little bit careful about word choice. Like, dying for whatever you said earlier. I would not use that word in this situation. Finn's always up to something shady. Gotta keep an eye on him. Someone inside? I can't imagine what I could do to make you feel better, Yasmin. But I'll do my best. Help Vin find the package. Uh... Will I know where that package is? Is it in this room? Is it that right there? This must have the package Vin was worried about. I could bring it to him. Looks very Amazon. Aha. We should read it. Uh, do you want to bring it right now? I haven't talked to Gwen yet. I don't even know where she is. Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. Uh... Okay, I am not feeling this guy at all. All right, settle down. You just caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. 
Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. I think this guy is supposed to be one of the romance interests. <laughs> I gotta say, he's not making the best impression on me so far. I'm kind of wanting to back away more, actually. Mm, maybe I'm judging him a little too early. Uh. Gwen. Dr. Gwen Hunter. She was Sophie's mentor for a long time. Was she the one I heard from down the hall? Maybe I can help. <sighs> Gwen? All good? Uh... Max, I, uh, so, I'm a hugger, um, are you a hugger? Do you need a hug? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God. I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? You got a reputation for that now? Bad reputation, twins. Boom. Bad reputation, twins. Don't worry, we'll get into that display case. This is public, we can't just take a hammer to smash it. This copy might be locked in the case, but it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. Recommended read, expand your horizons with this genre-bending essay collection. Celebrated online essayist Augustina Nadi has compiled new and experimental writings in this explosive collection, which mixes memoir with fiction to make the reader question where her real life ends and her imagined one begins. Find me on shelf L2. 12. Is Gwen blind? Why can't she read that herself? <laughs> shelf 12? They've got numbers on the side here. 19. Twelve. This is definitely easier than breaking into the case. Well, that was simple. Gwen? I, uh, found another copy of your book in the stacks. Will that work instead? Oh, uh, thanks, Max. It's just, uh... Well, it's just the one in the case is a 10th anniversary edition. It has a new introduction from the author. Hey, seriously? You need the one in the case? You got it. Wait, this is a library. You have protocols for getting the books from the case, right? Why do we gotta... We actually have to break in. Find a way to break in. Okay, if you say so. I don't know where we would even begin. Expensive display, cheap lock. He loved to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Think it's in your wheelhouse? 
Definitely. I just need to find the right tool. Where would I find this tool? In the library? Ooh, this pen? That pen looks like the right size for Gwen's lock, but it needs more of a curve in it. Seriously? Scissors back in the mailroom? Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? You're a pick-locking master now. Skinny and curved. That's actually kind of perfect. Wow, there was no hint about this. You just had to run around the building and find it. Random spoon, here I come. Hold on now. You might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But, uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. I hope the book was worth all that trouble. What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? Mm, I don't know. It's her secret. I don't want to... Don't give away other people's secrets. The police will uncover it or something. I knew she wanted to write a book someday, but... I don't think she ever got the chance. Why? Oh, no particular reason. Just hoping we have plenty to remember her by. A legacy, you know. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Oh, maybe it would have been nice to share that, but I, I don't know. Like She was going to publish it, so that was something that she would have liked to share with the public already, I guess. But it never... It never really came to fruition. Oh. Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. I didn't know you were here. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... A husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate and... I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. Have we not talked in person in the past day? I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes. Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport police chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Hmm. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... difficult. Did she tell you that? Maybe heard about it a little bit through the grapevine, but it's a common story. No, but... Family is always complicated, isn't it? 
Who has a perfect relationship with their mom? Well, not Safi. Not always. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. What? Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? No. No. She was going to get published. Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. No, but think about how she was found. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. But she was found on the bench sitting there. It's not like she had a gun in her hand. How could she have killed herself? I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Audio's messed up. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. I've been awaiting your call. Can I, I look at that? Thank you for saying so. It's all right, Aaron. Go ahead. No, it's an important meeting. We shouldn't push it. Of course, just reach out to Vin. I'll tell him to make time soon. We should set a time to do more thorough preparations as well. Just eavesdrop on our whole conversation. The board is always trying to catch me on my back foot. Yes, I've looked them over already. Overall, yes. I will email you feedback next week. That it? Yasmin got to see Safi's early drafts? That's a rare privilege. Rough shit drafts, August to October. We slept the stars. We melted wax women. Icarus need not be mentioned. It's less about how close you get to the sun and more about the heat of consumption. I dream of mangled books. Frankensteinian, sphinx-like. Head of a woman on the body of a beast. On the first page, she leaves home. In the unprintable epilogue, she returns to the ground. Mom, take a look if you get the chance. No rush. Just messing around and trying to get a fix on my feelings. Let me know what you think. Love ya. Very abstract. Damn, Yasmin. And I barely finished my GED. Well, that's why she's the president. From what I've heard about Krampus, this must have been taken at the beginning of the night. They were already friends before I came. Signed, Yasmin. I had no idea she painted. It's not terrible, but it's a good thing she kept her day job. <laughs> Want well, to be the president of an art university. I guess you have to have some interest in art. Yasmin was so proud of Safi. That she should be. Yasmin is following the case really closely. 
Too bad they haven't found anything. Wouldn't you? You want to know who did it? Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. Let's just give her a smiling one. Safi was more than just a poet. I want people to remember that. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Yeah. She really only needed me for, like, one question. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. Vin's always up to something shady. Gotta keep an eye on him. He's busy now. Free lockpicks. You should take a few more. Alright. Yeah. Of course they would give you time to actually go to the fab. Now we go, but we've already looked around there. Most of it anyway. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. You can grab a hot chocolate. Too much coffee is probably bad for you. I see Gwen here. I told you. Don't contact me on this phone. And text only, no calls. Hmm. This sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta. Sheesh. She scared the hell out of me. It's right there. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Guys, let's go back to listening. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. You guys were talking so loud, you just left! What can I do for you? <laughs> you could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Your true crime show? <laughs> That's a little bit of a loaded term. I just think people deserve to know the truth. Okay. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um. Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? Hey. I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. Then go! I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. Wait, why would Dr. Hunter know more about what Safi's doing? Well, I don't... You're threatening me. Go talk to her then if you want. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. We just helped her. It's not a big deal. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. <laughs> what? Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. Maybe this depends on if we helped her earlier or not. <sighs> what a little shit. But she's not a liar. 
Anything you want to tell me, Max? I just walked by for three seconds. I wasn't even listening that closely. I don't know what you were talking about. I wanted to check on you. You seemed so upset in the library earlier. Max, I don't like to be pitied. And I like fake pity even less. Ooh. Leave me alone. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? I might as well pack it all in at once. Okay. Wow, that went south really quickly. I thought we were cool too. All right. Uh, who's talking? Dude, I'm trying to figure out where the the sound is coming from. There is no sound. It's just subtitles, that's it. Gwen did just tell me to stay out of her way. Does that mean she really is up to something? Damn it. She <laughs> just locked this. If I could just no. Even if I could rewind, that shit's behind me now. Yeah, if we mess up with people's relationships, it's for good. Mm, I just try to rewind. Max isn't talking about it anymore. Hey, this wasn't here before. Are there invisible kids here? Of course. Nothing can happen on campus without some kind of Abraxas commentary. I have no idea. I think there's a bug. Well, we'll talk more about the technical side of this game, and maybe at the end of chapter 2, but I have noticed a few things already. Moses seemed really torn up earlier. These are pretty extra, but I think Safi would have appreciated that. Are we allowed to take it? I don't know what that conversation's about. I didn't hear it. Damn. But why are we handing out roses for some dead chick? No one even seems to want one. Not our standard Abraxas mission, but at least it doesn't involve some kind of farm animal. I'm not gonna question it. So what? You think he has us doing this out of the kindness of his heart? Sure, why not? No, okay, you're right. Maybe he was just trying to impress some cute florist. Maybe it's an optics thing. He's always saying the school is more about looking good than doing good. Lucky for us, I look amazing. Oh shit, is this a test? Should we look sadder? Oh, oh, roses. If grief burdens your heart, please accept a rose. You are not alone. Well, all right. Life, like the beauty of these roses, is fleeting. Enjoy it while it is here. Maybe a bit much. Really? I thought it was good. What do you want to do with a flower? Just take one? These are pretty extra, but... I think Safi would have appreciated that. We're just taking one for the heck of it, I guess. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> that was so juvenile. I don't even know what that was about. So Gwen got mad at me now and I wonder if Moses forgot his hot chocolate. She could have not been mad at me, but then this woman was uh, <laughs> All right, whatever. 
Here he is. No, no more orders for me. Poor Moses. He seems so out of it. I don't even think he got his hot chocolate. Get it for him then. I don't even know where to start. Yeah, we didn't talk. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now, and we're going to get through. I just, I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why do we let her walk off alone like that? It's not our fault. Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. We gotta get through this together. Strength and numbers and all that. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. What? Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. The guy who got yelled at by somebody for focusing on himself too much. He posted about his student getting the award too. Eh. Uh, uh. Who knows? Maybe he had a breakthrough or something. You know, like he was visited one night by three ghosts who showed him the error of his ways. That's at least a six ghost two night job. <laughs> Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ugh, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up. Or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. I pause to catch my breath. A receding shadow lurks in the periphery, <laughs> beyond the overgrown grass and the fallen bird's nest. It's fine, just let him say whatever he wants, point. it's... Effacing. People can see and through him, like how we're seeing through him. Like a crack of light across my heart. A wild, stirring arrhythmia. Morning is here at last. 
Loretta, don't think I'll forget you trying to embarrass me in front of Dr. Hunter anytime soon, Miss Caulfield. You're the one! You're the one who went up to her! I didn't do anything! What is this girl's deal? Tell me how you really feel, Loretta. This kid, I swear to God. Name the place. I've got nothing to hide, but you might. Calm down, Woodward and Bernstein. Jeez, man, is she undergrad? Vin, appreciate you taking care of my package. It can be temperamental in the wrong hands. Mm, okay. You'd do the same for me. Would I, though? You would, and then you'd expect some kind of payment to be named Double later. Double entendres can't be his whole personality, right? Imagine doing something for someone and not expecting anything. Couldn't be me. My guy, if Amanda didn't have a chance, you're, you don't have a chance in hell. You don't have any sort of chance. Kyle, yo, any cryptid sightings around the Overlook? I've heard some stories and it's got me thinking. Seriously? This better not be more of your conspiracy shit, Kyle. Selfie meant a lot, something to a lot of people. Have some decency, man. Oh, were these the people, the, the cryptid guy earlier? I haven't heard anything about a cryptid, but I have heard about strange occurrences. You could be onto something. We should compare notes. That's it. Again, those first pieces can be found in the journal Prescribed Fire, Volume 79. Arrhythmia is from the Cumberland Review, Fall 2021. Jeez, what a dick. It's still admirable. Jeez, Lucas, your class must be freezing. Don't interfere with people. Oh, he has- he's having class right here! I think we should just leave it alone. Where did Moses head to? Whatever. Here if you need anything. Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? Where is Moses? I... Where is Moses? Do we know? Moses is probably sitting over on the far side of the pond. Right here? Poor Moses. He really hasn't been the same since that night. It's weird. Nobody here saw her. Just you and me. I feel so disconnected from all of them. It's different, doesn't it? Hey. I have a question about Sophie. Okay. This bench. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey Max. Yeah. I'm going to use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. Take your time. I mean, we have to accept it, but take your time. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just a little longer. How did you guys meet, anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means... Watching blossoms in Japanese. Flower watching. 
I haven't thought about that in a while. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? They keep in touch. This is the time to keep in touch. <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Blue's more tactical. Moses? Oh, finally. It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? Here we go. The weird stuff's happening. Oh my gosh. We don't know what this power is just yet. But we can pulse and see other waves. I come in peace. Declare your allegiance. Come on, Diamond. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get out of Coco. That's it. Snowballs down. Let the observer pass. Definitely a much more chill atmosphere around here. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Of course, doesn't seem like anybody around us is seeing this. Where is that other Moses going? To the building to get a hot chocolate. Like you said. Not before tying his shoelaces. It's like a shadow realm. Gotta keep following that other Moses. I need to figure out what's going on. Well, the music gets kind of muted when we're using this. It's like an area of field effect. You see there's like a bit of a circle. Done playing on your phone, Moses? Let's go! Where is that other Moses going? I mean, like 99% it's the, the building here. We gotta wait for him. No, no! What are you doing out here? Oh You're my gosh. Minutes. I'm not the one taking it. It's time for our cocoa. Safi? You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five-star rating on teacher rating. I can't believe Max would stand me up. You were supposed to have lunch with the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you'll charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. <laughs> Another world. An alternate okay. timeline. It's too cold for this. That really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her. From the same time. Not like a previous time. Because we don't remember this, and she talked about us standing her up. How do we talk to her? Find a way to talk to her. Next five minutes, I'm going to tell Moses that you don't watch his Blu-rays. Bye! 
the phone. If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Oh, we don't even think it's like an echo of something else. We think she's literally right here, right now. Saucy! I'm right here! Right in front of you! Oh! Fuck it, I got pizza rolls in my office. Blue and orange. Open the door. Oh, shit. One was enough. Now we should have stayed blind. Oh, jeez. There you are. I thought I was going to freeze to death. <laughs> oh! <laughs> now, I think this, this power is going to mess Max up more emotionally than even Rewind. She was griefing. And now she's not because she doesn't have to because Safi's actually alive. Mm, that's it for now. Well, we got two chapters. Whew. All right. Mm, let's see the choices first. Safi, what happened to Chloe? 58% Chloe lived. Back in the original, like when I first played it, I the endings were pretty split. It was like 50-50. It's more leaning towards Chloe living here. Probably because a lot of people... Well, if Chloe's alive, then she might do something. And we want to... Um, whether or not Chloe will show up, I think is a thing that a lot of people are wondering about. Personally, at this point, I, I feel like... Don't get your hopes up. This is the, the read I'm getting from chapter one. Amanda. Ask Amanda out as friends or as a date thing. Hum. A lot of people went for the date, surprisingly. But I think if this was a random protagonist and a random love interest, the percentage would be much, much higher. The fact that it's even 30% right now, I think, I mean, there's a lot of people who, in their games, Max and Chloe were a thing, and maybe they just don't want to continue anything right now. They're not ready. Amanda's excited to pursue a romantic relationship with you. Is she? By the end of it, I felt like, I mean, we had to talk about how we're, we should remain friends for now. Yeah, Chloe is grateful to be alive, but the past still haunts you both. Loretta. Yeah, finish Loretta's interview or call her bluff. 80% 20. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of this supposed major choice. It felt very, like, okay. <laughs> Loretta feels vindictive that you called her bluff. And so she tattled on me like an elementary schooler. All right. Abandoned spaces. 88% of people said empty spaces for the potential were more positive. Mm hmm. Bowling alley plushie. 60% stole it. 40% probably didn't even see it. Chloe relationship. 77% said Max and Chloe were high school sweethearts, which is interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know. Do most price field shippers... Hmm. Like, maybe there's some price field shippers that had canon that Chloe died anyway. And that's why the percentage is so high. Pickup lines. Max used Safi's and succeeded. Oh, the other ones can fail. Damn. Art pranks. Max flipped all the paintings in the snapping turtle. Yes. We fixed it. Mug of choice. 53% chose the nerdy and dirty mug. <laughs> that one just seemed the most normal. Whoa, but I'm surprised people chose the toilet mug more than the actual vodka mug. Rooftop moment. Max reflected on the observatory rooftop. Yup. What moment was that? Was that like looking at something in particular? Bottle cap game. Max won the bottle cap game. Yeah. You could also have been like, you know what, Safi, it's okay. You can keep your secret, but nah. <laughs> Max didn't win the bottle cap game. Hmm. If you tried some other choices, maybe like doing the snow or putting it in the cigarette pack. Photo wall. Max added Arcadia Bay pictures to her photo wall. 18% for this one. 
82% didn't do it. Probably because they didn't even realize they could add stuff on the photo wall. The thing about all these choices is that they always take inaction as a refusal to action, which is not necessarily always the case. Coffee shop moment of reflection. Max reflected, half and half. Moses' hot coffee. What? Oh, you know what? It's probably because I, I got myself a coffee and then I couldn't order anymore. Because I checked the guy. He didn't let me order again. 88% of people didn't get Moses' hot chocolate. Oh, sorry, Moses. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hopefully I'll have fixed it by the time I post the video. But I just want you to know when I first played that area, Moses was invisible. So I had to like replay this section just to put it back in, but it was ridiculous. Which, we'll talk about the technical aspects of this in a sec. Safi's cause of death, 93%. Yes, there's no way Safi took her own life because it doesn't even make any sense. You telling me she shot herself and then someone took the gun? Choosing Safi memorial photo. 14% chose the pensive photo, 40% chose the playful photo, 46% chose the passionate photo. Oh. Yeah, all good choices. Speaking at Safi's memorial, 45% like me just didn't engage in it, 46% spoke at it. I didn't even bother, whatever, they can do whatever they want. 9% declined. Abraxas puzzle box. 90% of people solved the first layer. Yep, if you find it, you can solve it. Okay. Impressions of the first chapter so far. I think the first half still felt like a pretty standard Life is Strange game. Getting to know some people, chill out a bit. The second half after Safi died, I think started getting a bit shaky though, like tonally, and some of the conversations had me going, like, what? <laughs> like, mm, the way Max is kind of super cheery about stuff, even though her best friend just died, I don't get the impression this is a people deal with grief differently kind of thing. It's more like a, they wrote it for a different scene and they're putting it here and now it feels really weird kind of situation. Stuff like Max's thinking, oh, the Christmas party got cancelled, that's so disappointing, right after her best friend died. I don't think that sort of thing is intentional. It's more like they ran out of time to fix it. Which brings me to the technical problems too. I, um, hmm, I did have my fair share of bugs here, some of which you haven't even seen because I didn't even bother showing it. I just cut it out wherever I could. There has been numerous issues with the graphic settings not saving and the audio. Sometimes it'll be super loud, sometimes super quiet. Some of it is quite muffled. So yeah, that feels like to me, development was probably a little bit troubled, or at least they didn't have enough time to um, really polish it up. We did finally get our new powers at the end of this, so hopefully the plot will kick up next time. Of the people we've met so far, well, I, I, mm, I'm not super attached to anybody, but I'm interested. I'm curious to see where it's all going to go. Gwen, I think, seems pretty cool, even though she doesn't think I'm cool. <laughs> Uh, Vin, I, yeah, uh, no. <laughs> and then Lucas is a bit of an unknown for now. Didn't talk to him just yet, but he seems kind of not someone I'd like to have an extended conversation with in real life already. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll see. On the whole Chloe topic, yeah, I'm, I still want to see the full game before I say much, but I do get the impression maybe my thoughts won't really change too much by the end. So far, I think... If they advertised this game as a BAY ending game, it would have probably gone over better. Because it does feel like it's built for that. BAE feels like an afterthought. Like they just include some letters and texts to explain what happened in between. I'm personally actually okay with potentially a story about Max and Chloe breaking up. Because I don't, I don't like the idea of just looking at an idea and being like, Oh no, no, you can't write a story about this. Because frankly, sometimes the audience doesn't even know what it wants, and the riskiest ideas might produce the most surprising of stories. But this isn't what's happening here, though, because this isn't a story about Max and Chloe breaking up. They've already broken up, and we're just getting the aftermath of it, because the story that they want to tell is what happens after that, with Max being alone at Caledon. Which, again, if you start from the BAY ending, it just makes sense to slide into this pathway. But from the BAE ending, you would have to do a lot more legwork to get Max into this position where this actually makes sense. And I don't think the legwork is really being done sufficiently here. I want to make a comparison to The Last of Us. 
the second game. I'm gonna spoil it. If you don't want to be spoiled, look on the screen and skip ahead. It's like if Ellie started The Last of Us 2 going, Oh, by the way, Joel died off screen in between 1 and 2, and now I'm on a revenge quest trying to kill Abby for him. And then we don't get to see anything related to what actually happened with Joel. We just get in-game documents and Ellie talking about it, and that's it. I don't think that would have gone over well. For these types of mega big divisive events, putting it off screen is just very, very difficult to make compelling. I said I wasn't going to talk about it and I ended up talking so much about it anyway. <laughs> but I'm saying this because I feel like some people are thinking, oh, you know what? The only people mad right now are price field shippers and they're angry that their ship is getting broken up. For some people, yes, that's going to be the case. But I'm also here to say that there are other reasons that people would be upset about what's happening right now. In any case, this is the first chapter. This is not really the place for us to be having long discussions about what the next four chapters before we even see it. So I can remain a little bit optimistic, but, you know, also grounded. Grounded in expectations. Okay, well, let's look ahead and go to the next chapter next time.